You wanna microwave these meatballs, please? Okay. Come on, work with me. Cheese. Sandwich is ready. Okay, a meatball yeah. sandwich. Meatball sandwich. Um... Okay, and so they buy the meatballs, they defrost them, and then has that been microwaved or? Yes. Thank you. Uh... Okay, what else do we have to make? Uh, scarpello. That's nasty. When a restaurant can't even bother to make a meatball, that's not a good sign, let me tell you that. Somebody should tell him the chicken's definitely dead. Well, not okay. What's the matter with these guys? God, what in the hell is that? The Colasso pizza. Wow. I mean, it's like someone's cleared out the fridge. Look at it. It's endless. It has a little bit of everything except for anchovies. Oh, that's dreadful. OK, thank you. OK. The crap and the gunk on top of it is just hideous. You didn't like the pizza? He's not liking anything. Oops. Now we have the chicken scarapella. Oh. Wow. It looks dull. That's not right. Oof. It smells. Is that fresh? Um. Can you ask them how old the chicken is, please? Whoa, that was nasty. How old is the chicken? I don't know. When did we get it? Uh, I don't know. We took it out of the freezer Tell yesterday. It's 14 years old. We took it out of the freezer yesterday. It's frozen. It is not fresh because we can't afford to keep fresh meat here all the time because we don't serve that much. And if he wants to donate money so I can make it fresh, no problem. But otherwise, tough. They're not open for lunch, but so far, what I've just experienced, they shouldn't be open for dinner either. He took out the freezer yesterday and doesn't. Remember when the delivery was. Excuse me. Oh, dear. Excuse me. I didn't think it was that bad. Ugh. Under the tables, it's littered with gum. Colleen. Yes? Look at that. It's everywhere. Ugh. Oh. Absolutely disgusting. Wow, well, that was quick. Now, how many's in the kitchen? How many people? Yeah. Uh, three. Three. There you go. Well, thank you. That smells lovely. Did you need more time to look at the menu, or did you um, want to jump No, I'll no, actually. You know that. Um, um, I'll go for a uh, mussel bangkok. All right. A mac and cheese lobster, please. And then I'll finish with a lobster roll. If you're looking for the most popular one, it would be the Maine and the Connecticut. Do you know what? Bring me the three of them. All three? All right. Will do. Thank you so much. My name's Steven, so if you need anything, just let me know. <laughs> no, you are. Just making sure if you need anything, just yell. If anything's bad, I didn't do it, though, so I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? Michael? No. What? Your name? Ha, huh, very funny. <laughs> uh, you're a kidder. <laughs> when Chef Ramsay joked around with me, I think it added that personal spark of, oh, you know, Chef Ramsay isn't this evil devil that everybody sees him as. Welcome to Bangkok, first course. OK, then a lobster mac and, and cheese after mac that. Cheese. Okay. And he has a chowder right now. Mmm. A little bit watery for a chowder, huh? What a shame. Hello, Chef. How are you? Oh, very well indeed, thank you. Are you You're Muscles Bangkok. I'm Greg. I'm the, the owners. Oh, one of the no, owners. No, I'm not the chef. Trust okay. me. Okay. Oh, you don't want to eat my food. What a way to come from. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you thank too, you. sir. So there's one more owner to come. Yes, yeah. Brian. So David. Brian and Greg. Whew. OK, great. Lovely. All right. Confusing. <laughs> uh, thank you. Go ahead. Burn your mouth off. My god. 
fuck, mate. That's hot. Lobster mac and cheese. That's excellent. Mac. Lobster mac and cheese. Wow. Thank you. Speak of the devil, and I'll let you enjoy it. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm good. Yeah. Yourself? Yeah, very well indeed. Thank you. Yeah. How did three of you come to run a restaurant? Originally, David and I had the place uh, down on Avenue Way, and then we decided to get out of there. Fascinating. OK, I'm going to tuck into my uh, mac and cheese with lobster. OK, thank you. It gets more and more complicated. I'm thinking we send out all three lobster rolls on separate plates, dressed just like they would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So far, he doesn't like much. What do you mean? Food-wise. The mussels can't taste of mussels because of stupid Thai curry Bangkok broth. Mac and cheese, it's chewy and rich, and the chowder. That watery. It's not how a seafood restaurant should run. This is not going to be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, this is the Connecticut or the hot lobster roll. OK. You're, this is the main lobster roll. Main no. lobster roll. Whoops. Connecticut, Maine, don't worry about that. And this is the New York City lobster roll. New York City. Yes. Connecticut, Maine. Gotcha. Already? Uh, that's great. Thank you. All right, let's start off with CT. Drawn butter. <laughs> Horrible. Soaking wet bread. It's like eating a fucking wet diaper. So sorry, Connecticut, but I am moving on. Lobster's not seasoned. Land. What a shame. All right, so what did, what did you think of the main? Pretty piss poor, to be honest. I'm going to stop there. Thank you, Stephen. Give me first the lasagna, and then you're going to give me the sirloin uh, steak. You know what he said? Make it nice, please. You got that wedding soup, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that was quick. We got the soup. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's hideous. Like a mishmash of bits of shit put together and brought to the boil, and anemic grey meatballs in there. Mm. How was your soup? Yeah. That's the wedding soup? That's to get him in the mood to get married. Jesus. I'd rather get fucking divorced. Oh, my god. And that's made fresh every day, is it? Normally, our soups last two days. Two days. How could it be soup of the day when it's soup of yesterday? And it's sort of, it's bland. Anyway, hopefully. Hopefully the other dishes will be better. Thank you. Soup of the day. You said the soup, the soup is bland, it's not good? That soup was two days old, but that doesn't mean it's garbage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is he, a fucking health department critic? Oh, my god. Chef, he says the soup is not good. Well, I can't throw the soups out. That's the rules. What I want you to do is take two lasagnas out. Put them in the mic. Make sure the lasagna's nice and hot, Manny. I told him it's my homemade lasagna, my signature item, OK? Do the right thing. Lasagna, please. Manny, got dish one. Wow. Here's your lasagna. Homemade lasagna. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Someone drop it. Jesus. Here we've got, like, white bits of chicken or veal. But there seems to be something slightly synthetic and plastic inside that tastes absolutely hideous. Now, if that is homemade, I'll fucking dance in this restaurant tonight, start bollard naked. Because that is not homemade. Holy crap. With the steak. Thank you. What is that in there? That's the uh, ground beef. That's beef. It looks like canned dog food. Ask the chef where the uh, recipe's from, if it's homemade. Is the recipe of la lasagna. Which one? Which one? You want to know uh, if it's a homemade lasagna? Where you get the recipe? My mother. And where you put ground beef? And uh, what was the? Because it's Italian lasagna. It's not a goddamn Chinese lasagna. Jesus. It's a tough steak, not seasoned, greasy. The food is consistent. Consistently poor. What a shame. OK, I'm done. That's full of grease. Where do the steaks come from? Who buys them? Is that Sammy? Yep. The food is really, really bad in all aspects. We've been trying to tell this Sammy for a long time. But of course, because we are the employees, they don't listen. Right, here we go. Let's start off with the tamale. Got it. The chimichanga? Yeah. Let's go for a burrito. I think that's enough for now. All righty. Thank you. Anybody 
you taste anything? Erla, everything was good? Yeah, uh-huh. If Chef Ramsay doesn't like my grandmother's recipes, that concerns me. Anybody taste the tamales? This is the bueno. See what he thinks. Tamale and extremely hot. Crunch. Oh, no. God, I hope the tamales are moist. Jesus. It's like soaking wet newspaper. That is so dry. My goodness me. That's a fresh tamale. Well, when we make them, we make them in big batches, and then they're steamed, and then they're served, because we make such large volumes at a time. So you're sounding like the catering company now. Yes. And they go out like that? It's, they should be wet enough with the sauce inside that when you re-steam them, they stay moist. What an embarrassment. And this is your chef that ran a catering business? Correct. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Hates the tamales. Really? Perla? Hates them. He said it's so dry, it's inedible. He said it's embarrassing. Yeah, very dry. Are you cooking everything? Yeah. Perla, are you cooking the chimis? Uh-huh. I use the microwave for chimichangas for one minute before they fry. They taste really, really, really good. Okay, chicken chimichangas. Ooh. Chimmy, 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 chimmy changa. It's dry. It's shards of dry chicken. And now what? Here's the thing. Honestly. Chimmy changas. Chimmy chuck it in the bin. What a shame. The chimneys. He didn't like them. I taste before. It's really good. The flavor. Not to him, apparently. I'm frustrated at my kitchen. But it's a bit of a punch to the gut about my food. Steak burrito. Look at that. That is gross. That has to be the biggest ad for any diaper anywhere in California. Oh no. My God, Jesus. That's like eating wet cardboard. Have a taste of that, please. Bloody hell. The steak was gamey. It was kind of like a car wash, moist and mushy. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. Let me taste the steak. He says the steak tastes like shit. Did you grill him fresh steak for his burrito? Yeah. You didn't pull it from here, right? <laughs> Didn't we taste everything before we put it yeah. out? Ugh. It's really salty. Nobody tasted before we did this? Hey, how are you? I'm very How are you? Good, good, good. And this is Josh. Josh, good to see you. Yeah, welcome to Dallas City. Great. So nice to see that friendly face. Thank you. Um, is the owner, Abby, always that defensive? Yeah. It's scaring me. <laughs> okay, appetizers, calamari. Yeah. Crispy rings with hot sweet pepper sauce. Yeah, I'll go for some of that. Okay. You don't spell peppers like that either. No, I guess you don't. I didn't even know that. How long have you been here? Three years. Three years. Okay, uh, three way nachos. It says uh, it's a party in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if it's good enough to be put on the menu, I'm going to try it. So I'll go for party in your mouth. Okay. And the um, award winning meatloaf. That's our claim to fame. <laughs> Ready. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Please, may God, we don't die in Rhode Island. Okay, this is Gordon Ramsay's order. Let's make Gordon's food. I'm a good cook, but uh, that is not my menu. Of course, I want to do well, but I'm not sure what Chef Ramsay's gonna think. He's like, is this how you spell peppers in America? Three P, because it's B E P P? Yeah. There's three P's in there. There it is. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, well, thank you. Good nice to see to meet you. Likewise. Jason. Gordon, good to see you. So you're waiter? The waiter, yes. Dining room manager, yes. Brilliant. And being the head waiter, how would you describe the food here? Below par. Yeah. Abby said it was a 10. <laughs> so I'm in for a treat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> calamari? Oh. OK. Well, this is the crispy calamari. Calamari, yes. Ooh. And um, why is it looking so wet? Uh, it's a sauce that they toss it in. <laughs> Just say that again. You fry it. They fry it. And then you... And then they toss it in the sauce. 
and it's soaking wet. All the crispy batter is just coming off. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not mine. Yeah, it certainly is not mine either. Uh, but, however, I'm optimistic. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, look at that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm done on that one. Yeah, I'll get rid of yeah. that. I don't understand it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Soggy, chewy, disgusting calamari. Shocking. What do you say about it? You spit the calamari back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. What was he bitching about? Just spit it out. I'm going to, like, go at his throat today. And this is a party in your mouth? <laughs> this is the part in my mouth. Should be. Top plate, very hot. It looks dreadful. I think I've just thrown up in my mouth. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, boy. I'm taking it that was one party you didn't want to attend. It wasn't a party in my mouth. It was like a funeral in my mouth. A funeral? <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of does look like something died. <laughs> What's the matter with that? That's gross. What? We're not doing too good here. I was ready to, like, choke him. Maybe this is the one thing I like. He doesn't like anything. Maybe this will be the one. What, the meatloaf? Well, maybe this will be it. Wow, well, that's the meatloaf. Okay. And this is the um, award-winning. The award-winning meatloaf. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. You're welcome. It doesn't move on there, does it? Ooh. <laughs> What do we think? Wow. It's not even hot. I'm sorry. It's sort of lukewarm, solidified chunks of crap. That's pretty much the norm. <laughs> it must be freaking embarrassing if you just serve this. It is embarrassing. I don't like the meatloaf here at all. We set ourselves up for disappointment when we put award winning in front of it.